I think it's on. Thank you, Emilian. Um, so hello guys again. Um, before we go through the stand-up, let me just recap what happened yesterday. And yeah, we can start from there. So um, is there anyone? Okay, thank you. Oh, okay. Uh, so yesterday, um, we had a tutorial session on how to use uh, uh, AI uh, to generate emails and marketing content drafts. Uh, and we also had an interim submission. We also had a community building session. And um, yeah, so yeah, there was a submission yesterday. Yeah. So I hope you guys um, submit. Can you guys hear my my voice? Can you guys hear me? Okay. Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Um, so yeah, uh, yesterday we uh, did that and we had a submission. And today our schedule is going to be um, the stand up session that we are having just right now. We'll be having a careers challenge introduction right after this and we'll be having the community building session and we'll have a q a session with the tutors in the afternoon so i hope you guys join that and uh, ask your questions there about the challenge or any other thing actually but uh, it would be good for you guys to um, join that and ask your ask your questions yeah so that's uh pretty much the announcement that, that i have Mm, yeah, so how are you guys? Uh, what, um, what were you guys doing yesterday? What's the progress that you've made on the submission? And uh, if there's anyone who submitted, then I'm very happy to hear you. Uh, and yeah, what's the plan for today? Let me leave the stage for you guys. Anyone who wants to speak, just raise your hands and you can go from there. Hello. Yes. Good morning. Good morning, Gitere. Okay. Uh, I don't have much to say. Uh, this week has been fruitful. I was able to submit my work yesterday. That's all. Have a great day all. Okay. Um. So, what's your plan for today? Okay. Uh, my plan for today is uh, uh to work on generative AI. Uh come up with the emails and marketing content okay. and also attend the career challenge yeah? yes okay that would be great so have you faced any challenge while um trying to submit uh not really i've not mm -hmm. faced any challenge so far i think nowadays i'm good i'm good to go okay Okay, that's very nice to hear. Um, anyone else uh, who has submitted also watch, um, wants to share what they've been doing yesterday and also your plan for today? Anyone else? Um, there's a lot of names that I know. Sh can I call out? Okay, let me hear from Leah. Oh, okay. Let's hear from Kifue. Kif I'm not sure if I'm saying your name correctly, but you can speak, please. I'm sorry. Okay, good morning. It's Kifue, yes. So mine is a question because I want to understand. Um, after submitting and then you are told that you have to like edit your access rights so that whoever is reading your document can be able to access it because in my folder then i didn't see that it was restricted so i had to change the access rights such that whoever has access to that link can be able to read my document so what happens if i edit the access rights does it automatically because i was editing on my google folder so I want to know if it automatically edits in the text 
platform or do I have to copy the, that link again after editing the rights and reshare because I did that and then I was told that I submitted my assignment late, but I didn't submit it late. The only problem was that I recopied the link after editing the rights and then pasted it. So it seems like um, I have submitted that late. So I want to understand that that oh, okay. process. Yes. Okay, I, I understand. So uh, what you must do is it would be great for you to give us uh, an access, a full access when you first submit the link. But if you realize after you submitted that you didn't give us access, then it's okay to just go in the same document and change it to anyone with the link. It would it would automatically change it. You don't have to copy the link and resubmit it again. So, yeah, so you just have to uh, give us access. And then it would be also great for you to not edit it at the moment. It would be great if you uh finish your work and then submit it with uh, anyone with any with um changing its uh access rates okay so now that i've done it does it mean that my assignment is not going to be graded now because i've reshared the link because it was like the second week assignment for the 27th so i received a comment on the text platform to say we are not able to access your assignment that was four days ago. Then I edited and shared, re shared the link. Now they're saying that I submitted the assignment late because now it shows that I've edited the, the assignment. So how do, are you able to like um, check history of when the assignment was submitted, not when it was edited? Uh, yes, we uh, not on the document, but, may, but maybe on our site. So yes. I'll have to. Yeah. So you are talking about week two's challenge and not week yes. three. Week two's challenge. Uh, okay, okay. So week two challenge, yes, I can uh, speak with the team and also look at your submission. Then I can yes. get back to you on DM, on Slack. So I, I will text you after I check uh, on the on your document's uh, progress. And thank you. With the team. No, it's fine. You're welcome. Okay, thank you. While you're here, so have you submitted yesterday's interim submission? Yes, I have submitted my assignment. I normally submit well on time. I don't want um, to submit late. So I've worked on my assignment and I submitted it. Okay, that's great. So have you faced any challenge? Uh, the only problem that was confusing was when I went through the emails, I couldn't really pick the difference between AI generated and human generated because to me it felt like uh, how I normally write my emails here at work. So it was a bit confusing there, yes. So now I'm trying to find um, that balance, the difference between human generated and AI generated. So I've been going through the co the contents that was shared and also my research so that when I'm working on the other challenges, I can be able to differentiate between the two. Okay, okay. So that happens since it's since AI is now uh, very much confusing for a lot of people. I can understand what you're facing, but I think you will get over it very soon yes thank you you're welcome okay um okay thank you uh so abdi uh you can speak um uh, abdi uh if i'm not mistaken your hand is raised so um, yeah i I don't think uh, Abdi, Abdi, if you're speaking, you, we can't hear you. You're on mute. Okay, uh, let's move to Fozia. Fozia is saying, same here with Kifui, because I checked all of the emails and it's it says above 80% of them are AI generated. How are you? Um, we're good. Okay. Some uh, accidentally stolen my laptop uh, on the last week. So what shall I do? Maybe the, I, um, I, I, I didn't the get you. Wait, wait Could you repeat it? Because uh, your voice is breaking on my side. What? C can you repeat what you are, you are asking? How are you? Um, no, I'm so, I can't hear you. Does anyone hear him clearly? Or maybe you can type type it out in the comment section. Uh, 
Okay, okay, no problem. Okay. Okay. okay, okay. Uh, you have to set up. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, okay. Thank you, Makeda, for the chance. And uh, I have also faced uh, the same challenge with Kafiwili Way mm -hmm. uh, in the week two challenge. I have submitted my career uh, challenge on time and not restricted, but it says that it has a restriction for access and it's not graded. It's not uh, the submission is invalid, it says in the message, the Telex uh, platform. So would you please consider my case also as Kifliwe? Yes, yes. I can um, check on your submission as well. Yes, but, I, your... I resubmit it again, and it's mm -hmm. already graded, okay. but it's not, uh, it says it's invalid. Okay. Let me check that as well, and I'll get back to you. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, okay. Uh, anyone else who wants to share their progress? Uh, so I was saying, I think Leah, I was asking for Leah to speak. So if we can hear us, Leah, we'd like to hear from you. Okay. Um, okay, so who's uh, working on the final submission? Who has started working on the remaining tasks? There's Kiteri, there's Leah, there's uh, okay, the Rufai. Okay, I see. So can any of you um, tell me what you what you are doing right now? Your progress could be your plan as well. Hello. Yes, yes, Kiteri. Um, today I'm working on gen generative AI to create the market content and the email. That is what I'm trying to figure out today. Okay. Okay. That's good. Um, uh, I think that I will also raise your hands that you have started on the next step. So if you can share your progress, that would be great. Um, and also, uh, Abdi, you are raising your hand, so um, let's see. Uh, if you're speaking, you can't hear me. Your voice is a bit far, Makeda. Oh, okay. Uh, I think now is better. Okay, thank you. So, shall I continue something? Share? Yes, yes, yes please share. Uh, uh, as uh, the other side, uh, I found all the emails are AI generated, it says almost. 90%, 83%, something like that. And it also resembles like uh, it has a human touch in some of the parts of the emails. And uh, it's difficult to identify which one is strictly uh, AI generated or human generated. And uh, on, uh, in, in most of um, 
uh, formal emails like uh, uh, this, uh, especially international organizations, they they use emails like uh, which we have in the challenges. It's a bit formal and mm -hmm. descriptive and short. So it's really difficult to say this is AI generated, and this is this has human touched, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, these are purely human generated AI. So uh, I think there there must be some mechanism to identify it strictly. Yeah. Thank so, you. You're welcome. So I think um, that's the main challenge of this document, right, Radit? So you're speaking? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, I would like yes. to say that if you remember on the session, we were saying that the core point of this challenge is not to say that this is AI generated or not. <clears throat> After all, the goal is to say if this if this document or content is AI generated, it's somehow um, not right or it has some you know, wrong things, then we need to correct that. So now we would like to identify some contents, whether they are gen AI generated in order, in order to make some improvement to the email, okay? So in this challenge, we're not supposed to know exactly if they are uh, gener if they are uh, AI generated content or human created. If you've seen the document or the tables and any uh, parameters we've put, there we're going to use them to make some analysis. In this aspect, this, this uh, content looks like AI generated, and in this part, it, it looks like human created. And we're, so we're not supposed to make some line. We're not supposed to be sure to be sure hundred percent whether they are generated or human created. Okay, so it is not. We're not going to make some decisions on the content. We're just going to make some analysis. That's why the table is provided. And also, if you remember on the session, we have mentioned this, and we're going to use the parameters for some analysis, not for decision. So. Um, using the AI tools, probably you might get that percent of uh, results, but also if you, I have heard some students in the game, they have, uh, game, like they, they say they, it's sometimes have some different results using different tools will have different results. So you cannot be sure with tools of, uh, and most probably you're going to use, you might get those results, but that's not the point. Okay, we're going to use AI generated content for our everything. Uh, it's not a problem. The problem is whether if they created if they created some problem or if they're not that uh, if they're not going to give us that quality uh, content. So we're we're going to edit them. So how are we going to edit them? We need to uh, identify those points. So we're just going to make some analysis. You're not supposed to be hundred percent sure. Is it possible to be hundred percent sure? Yeah. That is my point. It might be sometimes uh, uh, possible to be hundred percent sure, but it's not a must. So that's not the point of the challenge. So if you are hundred percent sure, then that's very nice, okay? But sometimes you might not be that sure about the email. So if you identify some problem on the emails, this part of the email looks like AI generated, which is maybe it's redundant you, you can say because it's redundant so that we, we will know in what part of the content we're going to improve in order to yield to yield uh, equality content okay is that somehow clear it's not clear <laughs> You have to stop. Yes, it's clear, but um, yes, uh, the challenge is, is not about uh, this is AI generated, this is human generated. Uh, yes, yes, it is. But when I select the emails, or even one of the emails, and I checked it, uh, I, I cannot identify or I can't find any fault one or very insignificant fault on the email. So uh, I think that's why, why I, it's AI generated. There is no any error in the email. The as the criteria you you put it in the the slides. So I can't find any fault for some of the emails in the challenge document. That's why. Okay, maybe we can. Have you get my point? Yeah, exactly. After having some suggestions. Yeah, the trainees have tried 
to go yeah. through the, even the challenge email and you know it's not like it's not it's not a fault and like, it is it, it is uh, almost uh, i think it's it it becomes subjective it's uh, according to the person that uh, the that uh, follows its formality maybe you will need to go i mean i can we can see one one email or something from the document itself if, if it is that uh, challenging but you can see on some emails that they are written that they are too professional i mean those are not something that we need to see deeply you can just read the, some of the emails and you will see that they are too professional they're not going to people's writing the email they will make it somehow flexible if there are some emails and contents that are can you pick uh, the the last email and can we can it be an example for my question? Maybe if you it's can. It's going come to up. be. Um, I'm not sure if, if we if we can you know check the document. It's going to be giving you the answer, but okay, just let's go through the maybe uh, with the first email of the uh, with the first email. <coughs> Okay, let me go through the first email, maybe. So which one will be more appropriate to identify some uh, faults? I mean, some criteria that are going to align this is AI generated or this is some parameters that will make us say this is not AI generated. Uh, lack um, consistency and uh, knowledge. Uh, in the in the in the body of the email okay. so let's just go through the first emails post the email, the first emails on marketing and then that one. So one of the things, okay, we, we're not supposed to use every parameters mentioned in the session, okay, or on the slide. So this is uh, on the marketing, the first content on the marketing slide in my uh, content. Okay, by the way, this will make you somehow not to choose the first, post the first two emails, actually, you've already submitted, but okay, let's just see though. So this email in my context or in, in my view, it makes me decide that this is human created because it go through the details it's not that uh, like fully professional and it it's not just indicating why it's you don't have one tone throughout the email but i hope this message finds you well as we try to bring the best innovation to our i'm curious to share some exciting news so like look here this means so it started using this means okay it's somehow flexible to use another subjects another uh, indicators quite a big beginning the same thing so this means we're un unveiling, new, unveiling new solutions specifically designed to empower business. Okay, so our latest, it's not about if you see most of the emails that are generated with AI, they are going to focus if they're talking about the company, they're they're always going to start with the company, our company, this company. Okay, so it's have some flexibility in words and in terms in this email. Our latest offering include enhanced analytics, analytics tools that provide deeper insights into your marketing customer behavior. So each solution starts with the solution. And other thing I've noticed is that <clears throat> you can see that here we understand that adapting new technologies can be challenging. So what we've mentioned, one of the things that we've mentioned was that some emails, some AI generated emails are too perfect. So they do mention some challenge or um they 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 need to they will keep it safe right so here they, they are saying that there might be some challenge using our innovative tools so we understand that adopting new technology can be challenging so they they provide some solution with that our team is ready to assist you every step of the way so it's flexible it have it it's not uh, repetitive or it doesn't follow same pattern in my view so we can have this conclusion depending on the parameters and the specific things that are mentioned on the table so 
let's just go to this one the first email in the uh, the first yeah the first email so like look how the tone is somehow consistent and really direct i hope this email finds you well in spirit we're excited to announce the launch of our the service leverage and patch and have tics and AI driven insight while maintaining the human touch that regardless me. Our team has developed several new strategies. It's like reading the news. It doesn't it's full saying it's not flexible, it's really somehow professional. Okay. It's, it's not uh you don't have any um human touch or emotional uh, expressivity. It doesn't express any emotions. So it's just about the uh, the thing that it's just transferring the message. This includes personalized email marketing campaigns targeted social medias and enhances customer loyalty program. Each of this initiative is outlined in details. Okay, so here is a little bit you can see. So you can see some empathy or you know human touch. And this is mostly this mostly happens in any email that is also AI generated. When we come to the conclusion part, I would love the opportunity to discuss this new service with you. Please let me know and convenient time for me to discuss that further. I'm looking forward forward. I'm looking forward to helping you continue to grow your brand and connect with your brands. Okay. This is somehow professional, very professional actually, and having seen serious tones. And we can see the difference between them. We can just make this analysis on the two. Okay. <clears throat> and also it lacks creativity. It doesn't look something that is uh uh, it doesn't look something like a marketing company because it lacks creativity and also it's somehow redundant that one is redundant so you can just make this type of easy analysis by reading just the whole by reading or by seeing the vibe of the content and also by going through the details it's too perfect that it it is not mentioning any challenge okay towards the towards introducing the new idea so yeah what do you say? Have you tried to make this kind of analysis, this kind of easy analysis? Mm -hmm. Now it's uh, it seems uh, somehow better than the previous one. Mm -hmm. Okay, I hope it helped for everyone. Is there anyone, any other person who have some like confusion or still actually a little bit confusion will be there since it's not that easy to determine those two uh, contents. That's we need to know those general aspects. Thank you. Okay. Um, thank you, Radit, uh, for this explanation. I think Tahir's answer is also. Uh, I think answered because I saw you reacting a thumbs up. I'm guessing it was answered. So, and Gitere, that's only on your side. Uh, it's fine from ours. So, yeah. Um, so, I think we're a bit ahead of time. So, let's wrap it up. Uh, so, make sure you guys join the sessions that we, the session that we have today and also engage in the community building session. You guys can um, create uh, groups on Slack and um, discuss there. Could be about the challenge document or any other subject, but uh, it'd be great for, it would be a great help for all of you to connect with each other. So yeah, take that as an advantage. Um, yeah, I think that's it from my side. Do you have any uh, announcements, uh, Emilia? From your side? Uh, I think I'm good. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Thank you so much, guys. Um, yeah. See you tomorrow. Everyone, have a good have a good day. Have a good day too.